Hey guys, it's Victor over here at Target and they've got their Halloween stuff up. I don't know if this just happened. We haven't been in Target for about a minute, but they got some cool stuff here. They like switched up their pumpkins. I think this might be a Thanksgiving one. But look at this uh, DJ here. Oh man, I totally missed it. There he goes. Guess that gives a new meaning to dead mouse, right? And the graves they got are really nice. They look kind of like the ones from the Haunted Mansion a little bit. These little kid skeletons are cool. Yeah, see what I mean? They, they put a lot more work into these. They like went really stylized this year. I guess that's to switch them up from Michaels and everybody else who does skulls and such. I think it's kind of cool actually. Not super fond of these plushies. The ones from Michaels are definitely way better. I like that gourd set. This, I think, is cool. These little, like, three-dimensional cutouts. I guess they're really stylish and kind of match up the Target branding. Like, this little one. Like, these would go good with, like, the NECA Tiny Terrors. This is the best one, I think. The spooky movie. If you collect the NECA Tiny Terrors, it would be a good one to get as a backdrop for your figures. More stuff. More planters, some nice uh, jack-o'-lanterns here. Target always has good jack-o'-lanterns, but these are they always use the same ones every year, so if you already have them, you probably don't need them. I'm not exactly sure what, oh, these are pumpkin decorating kits. Mugs, and if you know, like, uh, Spirit has, like, uh, it and Pennywise ones. I like the, the pegboard backdrop kind of invoking the Haunted Mansion. Like Target has really nice clochets. Honestly, I think these are nicer than Michael's. They have feet. So you're gonna do a spooky cloche set. That would be the way to go. Like I said, these scale perfectly with the Tiny Terrors. $5 or Scooby-Doo figures, either one. And then they got their animal skeletons. I actually like the small bat. The rest are kind of like the stuff you'd see everywhere else for the bone pets. This really big skull here is cool. It looks like something you'd see at a Rob Zombie show. There's like candy bowls. Regular skulls for five dollars. These are nice. We got one of these at our tiki, home tiki bar. This skull. Uh, it does look way better if you paint it up. Crafters. These uh, snakes are something you need to target too. Hangy ghosts. I think Dollar Tree, honestly, Dollar Trees are much better than these if you're gonna go that route. Command strips. All right, then we got the um, the string creatures. I think the mummy is good. The an the animals are new. So, they have the Grim Reaper again. They have shrunk him down tremendously. I have one from a couple years ago. He is much, much nicer material than the earlier ones. They've kind of cheaped out on him, especially his scythe. So if you have the old uh, Target Grim Reaper, keep that one. This one is not as good. You know, he's popular. He's always the first one to go. Like, they do not have him at all. But yeah, this really definitely went way cheaper with him, which is kind of sad. 
That's the uh, skull projection. Looks much more 3D. The Dracula one moves. That's new. Generic plating. These are the same napkins as last year. The trick or treat. Same plates. Which is odd. Usually Target doesn't do a lot of repeats. Sometimes they do. Uh, same stupid glitter wreath. The beverage dispenser is needed. That looks nice. I like their black candy bowl. That's the one we have at home. These are new. That's old. This one's cool with the faux deciduous faux cacti, I mean. Yeah, on some level, I feel like they have less stuff than they did last year, for sure. But, uh, I don't know. They made some definite changes, which is good if you want to stick out. And here's, like, the whole candy section. I'm not going to go into this, but... Giant tubs. Here's, oh, they have a Day of the Dead cart. Yeah, the wreath is nice, reminds me of Coco. Yeah, we definitely drew inspiration there. Lots of Coco inspired versus generic. They even have uh, little spirit animals. Disney should do that shit, to be honest with you. Yeah, for real, so they really want full Coco. Here's the uh, costumes. They, uh, they bolstered their costume area for sure. Pet costumes. I don't really get that descendant stuff. You might, uh, your mileage may vary. Here's like generic outdoor stuff. So if you didn't grow up Christian, you might not know what this is called Harvest, which is Christian Halloween. Uh, this is clearly Harvest. You know, it's like, oh, pumpkins and everything, but no skulls and such. And makeup kits, hair. Generic. Some of the uh, Harvest uh, pumpkins are pretty good. The hayloft, yeah, this is all quote unquote harvest. But yeah, that's Target Halloween and generic Thanksgiving. All right, stay tuned for more from Cult Following.